there. I'm Lal Tone. I'm an avalanche forecaster and ski patroller in Squaw Valley, an avalanche educator and a heli ski guide in Alaska with Tordrello Mountain Lodge. Today, I want to talk to you about getting the forecast. Most important thing, whether I'm ski patrolling at Squaw, getting ready to throw bombs, or whether I'm in Alaska guiding, my day starts the same way. Super important to have good planning and prep. The first thing I'm gonna do in the morning is pull up the avalanche forecast. Instead of lurking on Facebook or checking out my Instagram, I'm going to avalanche.org and I'm pulling up my local forecasting center. On your local forecasting center, they're gonna give you all sorts of important information in order to plan your day appropriately. The most important thing they do will give you a synopsis of the weather forecast. What are you gonna expect? What kind of gear do you need to bring? Is the avalanche hazard getting better or getting worse? Are we expecting a storm? The forecasting centers will give you a very brief synopsis of past weather events, current weather, and what we're gonna expect for the remainder of the day. The next important thing is they're gonna bring you up to speed onto what the current avalanche dangers are. What are the big problems that we're gonna be facing out there and the avalanche problems that we're gonna to need to be worried about when traveling in the backcountry? One of my favorite pages on these avalanche centers is the observations page. You can go to this page and see photos of recent natural avalanche activity or skier triggered avalanche activity. You can see snow pit data. Oftentimes they'll have great videos posted of the forecasters doing snow pits and you can actually see those layers come out live and in person. And it really synthesizes that information and you can gather a whole host of knowledge as to what to expect for your next backcountry mission. So whether I'm planning a trip to Canada or whether I'm planning something fun in the Western United States, avalanche.ca and avalanche.org are both the resources for me to get the information I need to go have fun in the backcountry. So once you've gotten the forecast and visit the Avalanche Center's advisory page, you're gonna be able to have a really good plan for your day's adventuring. Remember, it's always good to have a plan B. Should conditions change, weather deteriorates, so having an optional plan is gonna always set yourself up for success. Another consideration when you're out there in the field and out there at your favorite touring backcountry areas is being really aware of what other groups are around you. Are you skiing above groups? Could you be triggering avalanches potentially on people below you? So having a really good idea and being aware of the other users that are out there in the field, whether they be snow machiners, snowshoers, other backcountry skiers is really critical. So now we got the forecast and we're armed with the knowledge from the experts of what to expect out there in our great backcountry adventure, whether we're going snow machining, whether we're going snowshoeing or backcountry skiing. And in our next episode, we're gonna talk about synthesizing that information and getting the picture.